Yeah, I can't wait for the next 12 months, see what happens. What are you gonna do to top that? Oh, I mean, uh, I, th I think for, uh, it depends if you're talking about home or, or you know, family or, or school and football. I, mean, I think there's a opportunity for us to be the best that we can uh, starting now. And I thought last year we made some really cool movements in terms of the football program, but um, there's definitely some things that we can learn from. And uh, going to this year, hopefully we, we can see if we took enough, um, you know, enough focus and enough work to get it done. I, I think looking from fall camp into right now, going to the game, I feel really good about the progress that's been made. Final season as an independent. With what's coming next year, how valuable is the experience on this team to stay in the moment for this schedule you got? Yeah, I think the key would be for us to just focus on this year. And then, you know, that, that's, that being said, we know that what the future holds, but the seniors, uh, the guys that are playing their last year at BYU, I think the focus needs to be on them, on this experience. Uh, that'll lead into the next year and lead into the future. But uh, now with all that has been said and done, the focus comes completely on this season, this week, uh, this game, and then we move on from there. I, th I think that's, it was a lot of fun talking about the future, but now the, the present's where we live and that's what we're gonna be focused on. There are a handful of players who've been on incredible journeys just to get on the field today in Tampa. Keenan Peely, what has his comeback journey meant to you? I think it's been really rough for Keenan. You know, he, he, was a, he was a team leader for us and voted captain and um, really did some good things right, right early in the season. And then that injury was just a, a it was a no, no contact, um, but unfortunate because the team needed him. And um, watching him in the off season, prepare for this season, I think just having the game taken away from him has made him even stronger and hungrier for the game in terms of football IQ. Uh, when you're not playing, now the leadership steps up and you have to lead. And, and um, you know, looking at the players, their response to him, he went from a leader on the field now to off the field and being another coach. And I think it's elevated his game, so I'm really excited to see him play. So he went out with a knee. Peyton Wilgar went out with a shoulder. Mm -hmm. He's back. Yeah, Peyton's the same, similar. I mean, uh, you know, voted captain. I think his road, everybody knows that he was a, a preferred walk-on. And so uh, he has a bright future and, and, and had an unfortunate injury, um, which, you know, really hurt that linebacking crew. But uh, I, I think the emergence of Ben Bywater and the others in, in, the, in the linebacking group uh, is a huge indication or a reflection of what um, you know, what Peyton was able to do as a leader and what he and Keenan, you know, together, what they did as a duo uh, leading this group and being around. And I think it's just their presence is, is the key. And then having them limited in, in spring and not doing much, that's when they really stepped up. How happy will you be to see Isaac Rex run out onto the field this afternoon? Yeah, I'll be really excited because, I mean, Isaac had the... Uh, a horrific injury, and I was there, and, and when I saw it, I'm not, uh, it got me a little queasy when I saw the injury, and it, and the surgery, and um, the rehab that he's had to go through, it, it was a huge obstacle for him, and for him to come back so quickly, and um, you're out there, Isaac's the same old Isaac, he's making plays, uh, I think, um, you know, I'm, I'm amazed at how quickly he got back into it, and not just how quick he got back into it, but how he really didn't miss a beat since his injury. And then uh, just a lot of hard work and dedication from him to get to him to this point. I'm, I'm really looking forward to him being a good target for Jaron. Seems like Jaron has a laundry list of ailments from last yeah. season and, and a bad foot kept him out of the bowl game. He's been healthy this off season uh, and ready to get back at it. Yeah, I, I, that's uh, part of the game is injuries and it just sucks when you have a happened to a bunch of your starters, um, but it allowed our team to get deeper. What motivates him to be a better quarterback? Oh, everything does. The guy wants to be the best at everything he does. I mean, you play golf with him, it doesn't matter what it is, you compete with him. He wants to be the best and he wants to perform at his best. And at times he's sacrificed quite a bit to do that. And I think there's a, there's a, there's a you know, there's a point where you have to realize that you being available is the best thing for the team especially in this type of sport where it's pretty violent and injuries do happen. Uh, I, I think he, I don't think it's going to hurt the quality of his game. I think he'll be fine. And, and I think that uh, he, he, he realizes now that he's 
a little bit more mature and grown and has a lot of games under his belt now, so he'll be able to bring that experience to, to this team and to this position. Puka Nakua, is he not the most exciting, fun-loving playmaker that you've ever seen? The difficult thing with Puka is that he goes 100% all the time, so a walkthrough is virtually impossible with him. He just doesn't know how to slow down, and so he's going to always go 100%, and that's in practice, that's in everything he does. Physically, he's gifted. Um, he, he's, the players really respond well to him. But um, it, if you want to see how great a receiver is, don't look at the way he catches the ball or runs routes. Watch him block. And that's where you, you can see the, the little things, details that matter to him and what he does on the field. It, it's not just about him. He does it for the team. And you watch him, and, and when his brother was on the team last year, they're so excited when other people score as, as if they score themselves. And that's, that's the, the perfect teammate right there. And, and I know that no matter what happens on the field, if it's a positive thing, Puka will be one of the first guys to be smiling and jumping, hugging somebody. <laughs> What do you remember as a former player getting ready for your four season openers? What are those feelings like before you take the field? I think your freshman year is a little bit different when you, you don't know what to expect. And, and then growing up a BYU fan, it's like a, a dream come true when, and it hits you right when you're getting on the field. So my freshman year is different than when, you know, when you're a seasoned vet and you're a return missionary. It's like, okay, let's go play this game and just hoping that your hamstrings will hang in there. You know what I mean? But um, the excitement and energy, though, is, is, is evident, and that's what we're going to try to feed off with, with this team. We, we have to feed off of the, um, the energy, the excitement, the, the togetherness, and the camaraderie, uh, and then just go out there and have fun. I think um, we, we put too much pressure on ourselves and so many different things, especially when it comes to performing on sports. And, uh, I'm trying to keep it as easy and as, as fun as possible. I feel like our guys will play better when they're having a good time. And it's a way to show gratitude and appreciation to your loved ones for the sacrifice that they made to allow our, our young men to, to be on the field and, and to represent them. So you might as well go out there with a smile on your face and uh, give it everything you got, and we can live with the result afterwards. Good luck. All right. Appreciate it, Dave. Go Cougs.